series on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube sent over by you guys. That's going to make us question everything. Make sure to add the Discord. The link is in the description down below if you want your video featured on here. We got a home video, y'all. Shout out to my Ama Atara. I know you watching. I see you. I appreciate you. Home footage says real ghost caught on home security camera. Mail recorder. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Look in this area right here. Watch. What is that? We got another one from another angle. What is that? Thank you, Brie, for the video. You're at the 9-11 Museum. They have a museum? And you say this. So, she knows that this is not Kanye. Kanye know that's not Kanye. This is a clone. He's so tall, he can't even wear shoes. And if this is not Kanye, how is he going to visit his kids? This man just be coming on anything. Like, he has a sweatsuit top on with leggings on, about to go to a karate class. Like, this is, this is wild. I just, I don't, where are they coming from? I'm thrilled to present our sponsor for today's video, Timu. Timu has everything you need all in one place. Now's a great time to buy more of the things you like without spending too much money. Have a look at some of the stuff I got. First-time audio test with the speaker. Okay. Don't sound bad. I'm gonna turn it up. Grab this awesome speaker for free through the Timu app. Just scan the QR code displayed on the screen and input my code DKV6735. New app users can choose a free product as a gift. Plus, I've also arranged a $100 coupon bundle for all users. Check the link in the description box and be sure to explore the Timu app. Make sure you don't miss out on this fantastic deal. Don't forget to download the Timu app for even more benefits and an incredible shopping experience. Hurry up and snag these awesome deals before they disappear. Happy shopping. Oh, please, please help. Wait, Nobody. why he runs so fast? Oh, please, please help. Nobody. I would like a bone. <laughs> I'm, I'm tweaking out. This shirt says Coca-Cola in English, right? Yes. So it's a bad photo, but it's the only one I have. Um, you can clearly see that this shirt has Hebrew letters. Um, I bought it in Israel, um, which is why it's in Hebrew. So on this day, April 14th, 2023, I put it in the washing machine in Hebrew, and it came out in english someone please tell me if we just went through a portal if like is she lying she girls please help me out like what's going on she put the the shirt say coca-cola in english all day but it's hebrew here it's funny how we've been reacting to a lot of stuff that has hebrew in it she must have got a good washer 
What's a conspiracy theory that you a thousand percent believe in? This is probably going to get taken down, so let me get right to it. I'm not just coming right out and saying that the military puts batteries inside of birds. All I'm saying is that if they did, this is probably where they would keep their stockpile. And due to the recent budget cuts, this is how many batteries are left. There's about to be no more birds, guys. And I anticipate the military funny. to cover it up by saying climate change is the result. People can actually watch this footage and believe it's real. Yeah, what's the problem with it? Come on, and the, the bouncy bounce is wild. Stand by at 13, we're looking at it. So that gotta tell be me, movie. everybody, why haven't we been back? I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. Now I want you to think about the absolute crazy amount of progression there has been in the last 50 years with technology. That's why it's I a say painful it. process to build this again. Is that foil? Let's not forget Come the on. phone call transmitted from the moon to the president. Hello, Neil and Buzz. <laughs> I'm talking to you by telephone from the over room at the White House. And there's certainly That's the most telling part to me because you can't even put film through certain scanners at the airport without destroying it. But you could transmit all the way from Man. the moon to the earth through the Van Allen radiation belt. But I know people actually believe we didn't go to the moon. You know all the scary things that have been happening at the Euphrates River? What's going on there? Okay, so the Euphrates River is actually located in the Middle East, and it's considered one of the longest rivers in the world. But it's actually drying up. Like, it's almost completely dry. But where the river is drying up, they're actually finding caves and different structures that have been under the river this entire time. But it's actually really scary that they're finding this. I don't get what's so scary about that. So what's crazy <laughs> is the drying up of the Euphrates River is actually written in the Bible. And in the book of Revelations, chapter 9, 14 through 9, 15, it says, release the four angels back down to the great river Euphrates. And then it says the angels were released to kill a third of all mankind. So what you're saying is when the river dries up, it's basically the end of the world. Yeah, and just to put that number in perspective, a third of the world is 2.6 billion people. And it's just super weird that they're finding all these caves under the Euphrates River. When you find out the lottery only exists to catch yeah, time. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Eye in the mouth. No, I saw that, but I mean... <laughs> I mean, because you would think if you want to see something, just open your eyes and see. Well, you know what? You want to hear the story behind it? No. Yeah. Nice. Probably seen this video. Yeah, <laughs> she freezes. So is that, is there going to be a public registry? Because I'm going to be honest with he you. He notices. Take the gift cards. He Fuck everybody's so. presence. And then to bring take her the back, he claps one, take the gift two, cards. Take the three, gift cards. repeat yeah, yourself. Because in my pool, what's She's that back. Thing that was going on? Now watch this video. Watch when she freezes. Now notice how the people in the background noticed what was happening. And then the interviewer said, it's good, it's good, it's good. And then Cardi came right back too. Notice the people in the background notice. And then she says it's good three times. That's... Crazy. And that's when Cardi B comes back. My wife actually All seeing eye. Hmm. Y'all boy know what it is, man. Get ski ski. Why is this in here? See the bike. You came and you came see it. Damn. Damn. Wow. And they talking about how hard it is. I just don't understand why he's in it. Why is he in it? Was it his hand? Oh, there we go. Cause I'm like, he was so busy showing nobody care about that little baby. I was playing. 
Okay, yeah, it was it was the hand. Okay. For all the uh Glorilla fans. Is that how you say her name? I think it is. I know y'all seen them devil horns on blue ivy. <laughs> Nobody can't tell me that's a brave. You said that you won't fly commercial. You said that it's like getting into a with again? a bunch of demons. Why do you think that? No, listen to me just saying. Not the people. The main reason is because of the need of Inside Edition. You gotta get this now. Hey, you listen to me? My, my wife thinks Inside Edition is... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They stood up for that? They got up and sent an ovation for laughing like that? It's wild. Oh, that is pretty. Wow. Your whole creation is just beautiful. Like, if you want to talk about a masterpiece, yeah, the whole top tier. And we have all the oxygenated atmosphere. That's why we had giants. And that's why we house had these giant trees. That's why we had the sequoias. And, and Joe cut me off on the giants, but you can dig down there. You can see it in the 1800s newspapers. Throughout the 1800s and early 1900s, all around America, farmers were digging up giant bones. The game is distracting. And they sent hundreds and hundreds of skulls and all these bones to the Smithsonian. The Smithsonian made a huge apology for losing or destroying all these bones. They're all gone. There, there's no more of these bones left. Where are the giant bones? They're probably hidden somewhere. But giants existed. It's known, it's a fact. People lived longer in the old days than we do now. Mm -hmm. It's a fact. And the reason I know it's a fact is because there's evidence. And the other reason I know it's a fact is because I can do it today. These are all Breeze videos, so if y'all wonder, why she ain't shut nobody out? These are her videos right now so far. She was going in. Here's two instances of what looks to be super soldiers caught on camera. This first one is from 2014 from the Ferguson riots, where video was captured of what looks to be a soldier double the size of the other soldiers he's standing around. The other instance is from North Korea during a parade that they do with their military equipment through the streets, and we see what the other soldiers, one standing who looks to be double the height of the other ones around. Since the very first time that two groups of people started warring against each other, armies were looking for ways to create super soldiers from the giant Goliath of the Philistines through the Nazis attempt to create super soldiers through the Vril Society. What's actually going on with cloning and genetic manipulation and facilities to create super soldiers is beyond what we even know. Yeah, because I was like, what they mean by create? Like, you don't just create somebody that's really tall. What are you, um, so is that truly the whole point of cloning? Like, I know we've looked into some stuff where people do cloning for a numerous amount of reasons, but is that truly the definition of why cloning exists? Think about that. I don't know. I got to think about that. It's a shame you can't kill all the pedophiles. But then I'd guess you'd have no friends. And you can't ban the cigarettes. Because then you'd lose the money in tax. You can't ban alcohol. Because you'd lose billions a year. And you can't find murderers. But you can find someone that's gone through the congestion zone. Imagine all the things you could do, Rishi. Weird and unexplained things happening all over the world. Numbers seen in sky. Whoa, I've never witnessed that before. Large moon-like object in sky. Hoover Dam is drying up. To crescent moon spotted. Whoa. Explosion in Columbus, Ohio. Upside down rainbow. UFO mothership and solar system. Rumble near Yellowstone National Park. Dang, 
they could feel the vibrations going through their bodies. Strange noises heard in Ireland. So there's some video, what? this video that's of a, a human. sun bear. It hit social media. People have been claiming that that's actually a person. It in is. It's obviously a person. Bear costume. Watch where it sits down, though. They point that's out that its posture and legs look human <laughs> and that the fur sags around its hips. It like, looks like quote, a poorly stone bear wait, suit. Wait, wait, wait. A pair of baggy pants. But zoo officials say sun bears are slender. They're not like grizzlies. He's and talking. He, he is not hey, talking. Watch him sit, though. A human in a fur suit wouldn't last more than a few minutes like when he on a hot summer day before collapsing. Now, let's see if he sits down. Oh, they don't show, we don't have the video of him okay. sitting? Because when he sits, you can tell he's a he's a real bear, not a not a play Well, play. you're right. Sorry. He's having a there Oh, see? Now that's a bear move. I can say it like that too. That's that was a human. Hold on. Oh, that one, that one looked real. Kinda. Now it look like AI. Now I can't tell. I don't know. I don't know anymore. That's fake. <laughs> that's not real. That mother. That mother right there is not real. He didn't know this would be his last moment. I forgot about that. Do y'all know what this is? I don't even, can I show this on YouTube? For everything you've done to me. Shallow. For everything you've done to me. Shallow. Shallow. <laughs> Stupid. That's my name. Don't wear it up. I have to figure out. I don't know with the editing wise if I showed it or if I didn't. I don't know. Can't tell. Right now I'm in recording mode. I'm not in editing mode. So editing mode, I'll, yeah, I'll figure it out. With that video and that couple, how did he get into the suitcase? How did she convince him to get him into the suitcase? Because it's true. She was recording him. She knew what she was going to do. Cause you know anything it starts in the mind it's not the like any action starts in the mind first so she knew he didn't know that was gonna be his last moments but she did but i don't know the story on how how does she convince him to get into the suitcase that's all i want to know dodge a cat had an illuminati slash eyes wide shut themed birthday party the movie is literally about an underground secret Come. society where they perform rituals this and her birthday cake had the illuminati sign all over it and it was her 27th birthday and you know what they say about making it past the 27 club you have to perform the humiliation ritual so now it all makes sense i mean why would you go from this to doing this on a live camera. I mean, she already had all the fame and fortune. There was no need for That's all what of I it. Said. I mean, just go on her TikToks and watch them. Stuart Little um, today, and it was so sad, it made me cry, but then like things got better in the end. Um, another thing was that Illuminati, Illuminati, Illuminati. And recently she just covered herself in 30,000 red crystals. <laughs> Like what? And every time she's asked about the Illuminati, she either gets really mad or just turns it into a joke. Y'all pray for Doja Cat, man. Have you heard the conspiracy theory that uh, Australia's fake? <laughs> the biggest piece of evidence there is, have you ever seen an Australian child? They gonna get my brain thing. I can't, I can't do this today, not today. Brie, you went in. I finally got to the end of your list. Thank you. <laughs> Great videos, by the way. Shout out to DeAndre now for this video. Take a look at some of the fires that's going on. Pay attention. These are all the fires that's going on right now in America. It's like every state. We're gonna go through a lot of these and I'm gonna show you what's going on in these states and why there's fires. In Texas, there's a fire around this area, which is close to Austin. Live from Austin, Texas, the Smart City Challenge. There's oh. fires in Washington. Lawmakers from Washington State push for a Smart City Bill in Congress. What's outside of Phoenix, Arizona? Scottsdale. City of Scottsdale. Smart City Strategic Roadmap. This Wildfires is in New Jersey. New Jersey Smart Cities Working Group. Fires in New Mexico. Smart City Planned in New Mexico. Wildfires near Portland, Oregon. Smart Cities Planned for Portland, Oregon. Wildfires in Florida. Smart City Initiatives for Orlando. Wildfires in Mississippi. Smart Cities Planned for Mississippi. 
And this isn't just happening in America. There's fires in Greece. Wow. Smart City's plan for Greece. Y'all, I could have gone on and on with this, but I think you see the pattern. Okay. Y'all know me. Y'all know anything that's smart is dub. But what exactly is going to be in these smart cities? Because my mindset is, why y'all just didn't do that? Y'all could have just said, this is what we're... Because y'all going to do it anyway. So why didn't y'all just start building and implementing the, start, the smart cities? What, what's in the smart cities to where, in their mind, they have to keep it a secret and destroy to where people have no choice but to leave the area and then for them to come and rebuild, but they're really building smart cities. What is in it that you guys are hiding? What what is a smart city? Y'all, Bree is back dropping some heat. I'm just letting y'all know these next couple of videos are from her as well. Thank you, Bree. I truly appreciate you. Cashless America is coming sooner than we expected. Watch how this British man deals with it. I'm gonna buy some strawberries and I'm offering exactly the right amount of money here on the help desk. So you people take that money, one pound ninety, and I will take my strawberries and so on. You can't take that. 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 Oh, ho, ho. I pay by legal tender. No, no, no. Dang, I'm not going to let him out. I pay by legal tender. I'm about to show you exactly why all these stores are going cashless. I'm in the book of Revelation, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he have that mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And what technology came out last year? The microchip implants that let you pay with your hand. Who got that? For real, for Do not fall for this deception. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night, who worship the beast and his image, and whoever receiveth the mark of his name. Get right with God, now is the time. God bless you all, like and follow for more. Okay, so I was just learning about how apparently there are all kinds of fake towns across the world. It's called a Potemkin village. You see how this is just being held up by beams? It's basically just a fake town in a city that like is designed to deceive people into believing that the city is doing better than it really is. Like, this is in Russia, and abandoned buildings just get a slab of new paint, so that way if you're just crossing by on a train, you think that the town is doing better than it really is. But sometimes they're built to serve a completely different purpose. Like, there's a Potemkin village in North Korea that directly faces South Korea. It's an entirely fake town with clean streets, apartment complexes, and even working electricity. But the entire town is completely fake. This entire neighborhood exists literally just to lure people in from South Korea into the North Korean dictatorship. And then I learned about this fake town called Doomtown that existed in the 50s in Nevada. Scientists wanted to see what would happen to a real town if an atomic bomb were to be dropped in it. And so they created the fake town of Doomtown to find out. They built real houses, placed real furniture, and staged mannequins, and then tested out multiple atomic bombs to see what would happen to these mannequins. <laughs> Spoiler alert, none of the none of the mannequins uh none of the mannequins survive. But isn't this insane? That is catfishing at its finest. Imagine you on vacation and you're like, wow, I could really live here. And you move out there and you find out all that's that is catfishing on a matter of y'all took catfishing to where now it need a new word. Why are y'all like? I just don't understand. Question, guys, is it just me or do sh seem really, really weird? What I mean by that is time is speeding up. It don't feel like it's 24 hours in a day anymore. Food tastes fake and the weather is crazy as all outdoors. In addition to that, it's like people walking around like zombies. Is it just me? Tell no. Me. In 2022, NASA formed an independent team to study UAPs. The administrator of NASA, Bill Nelson, stood up and told the American people that NASA is seriously looking into UAPs. We, NASA, have taken for the first time concrete action to seriously look into UAP. 
However, nearly two months before the panel presented its findings, David Grush, a senior military intelligence officer, testified under oath before Congress. Mr. Grush, finally, do you believe that our government is in possession of UAPs? Uh, absolutely based on interviewing uh, over 40 witnesses over four years. When the UAP study team was asked about Grush, this was their response. What he said, if I recall having seen this uh, on the nightly news, was that he had a friend that uh, knew where a warehouse was that had uh, an UFO locked up in a warehouse. Bro, have anybody else been paying attention to Beyonce's Renaissance tour? No, I don't know if Beyonce at home chilling. You feel me? I don't know where Beyonce at, but it looked like she got body doubles. Who's doing her tour? They've fight. been saying that a lot I lately. I am finna say I'm crazy, but just hear me out, right? I mean, they kind of been showing us since the 90s that they can manipulate us with masks. For example, well, Norbit, Eddie Murphy played every last one of these characters. Yeah. You feel me? So I don't know why it's so hard to believe that these people really be wearing skin masks, not just in the movies. What do y'all want to talk about the Nutty mm. Professor? Eddie Murphy played all six of these characters. I mean, it's really hysterical at this point that y'all really believe they only using these props in movies. You feel me? All right, now let's get back to this Renaissance tour. So y'all remember the all-white party, right? That Beyonce attended earlier this year. I don't be keeping and up. Beyonce was looking like Beyonce, correct? First and foremost, who is this? Because that's not Beyonce. It's almost like we seeing a different person in every state. Bro, all these pictures are from the Renaissance tour. They all look like her. Just look at the body type, bro. Oh. To be real, this don't even look like her. But let's talk about these hands on her outfit. That one doesn't look like her. It's like a wild guess who hands they are. Or let's talk about how it was a portal at every concert. Yeah. Look at her hand. You know she got to play as your loyalty. Look where the arrow is at now. Y'all see them lines coming down. And don't tell me those wrinkles. Y'all know exactly what that is. I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised is what I'm trying to say. A question I have for you guys is if you guys paid all this money and you guys went to the concert, my concert was amazing, outstanding. Y'all loved it, enjoyed it, but it wasn't really her. Would you care? Like, do you feel like you wasted money? Because let's just say that the dancing is on point, the singing or the lip singing is on point, the outfits, but you didn't really see her. You just seen somebody like, I guess, masked up like her. Would you feel some type of way? Cause technically you wouldn't know. Y'all could be going to these concerts and it could be people that are masked up because they got, they doing so much stuff, so much, you know, uh, that's another story for another day, but they're doing so much stuff. So they probably do have like stunt doubles coming in and performing for them. I don't know. Just food for thought. Let's go even further down the rabbit hole. She always had the pointy chin. Solange <laughs> always had a flat chin, correct? Flat chin. Pointy chin. Okay. Say one more time. Yeah. Chin, okay. I... Pointy chin. All right. That's... Still not convinced. Huh? That angle. Peep the noses. Peep how Beyonce nose is flat. Okay. And Solange's nose is more like open. Now let's try it from another angle. Cause you know y'all love to talk about angles. More uh open. <laughs> flat. Is that that? And the crazy thing about it, y'all still <laughs> won't believe me. <laughs> just look. Open your eyes. I mean, just look how close these tour dates are. I really believe one person going to all these different cities. That's some like back to back, flight to flight. Right. Four to five hour performances. Use y'all head, bro. Well, uh, it's very simple. I have a clone. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, that's the most interesting theory I've heard all day. Makes the water act like this. They said this was the first camera ever. But what took the picture then if this is the first? They said this is the first <laughs> man to step on the moon. But didn't someone have to step on the moon to put the camera down to get it in place to take this picture? So this nuke destroyed 
the house, but the camera stayed still, didn't even flinch. Yeah. What is so hard to understand about that? Don't believe everything you hear and see. Monsters, Inc. is a movie about adrenal The movie's plot is literally centered around the monsters who work at Monsters Incorporation, where they yes. enter through doors at night to scare them because the children's fears, specifically their screams, are used to power the city of Monstropolis. Mm. They even use ranking systems to see who can extract the most screams from these children, and they're absorbed into these, like, Tubes. right, these containers or whatever. And they literally look like blood yeah. when they're filling up and if you think about the tactics that are oh used my by gosh. Police, right like how they acquired the best form of adrenal blood is by spiking the adrenaline in children so you have to torture you have to deliberately instill fear and then you extract the blood this scheme to kill the children and extract their screams with the help of a machine called the scream extractor and at full capacity the device torturously forces the screams out of them until they meet their end the way she broke that movie down makes me want to go back and rewatch monsters inc somebody in the comment section will be like you're really gonna believe that that's a cartoon <sighs> did y'all know that because <laughs> that was new information for me sorry that was i never thought of it my mind doesn't my mind don't yeah mm. I'm going to go ahead and probably rewatch that one and probably all the old cartoon movies and see what message they were trying to hide or expose in the movie slash shows. Y'all, it's some stuff coming out. I'm going to end it here. Obviously, you can tell I'm going to end it. Shout out to Brie. When I tell you she went in, I actually had to cut it. She actually has, she has more videos lined up. I haven't even got to the bottom of her list. So shout out to Brie. Brie, you contributed a lot. Not that nobody else hasn't. She just went in. This is why I can't skip videos because you have people that took their time to find these videos and to place them in the chat. I'm going to react to them unless I seen them. If I seen them, they're not going to get reacted because obviously I did it and I don't want to post recycled content. But if I haven't, oh, we... We're going in. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. We're on the road to 800K. I have to give all esteem, all glory, and all honor to my Saba Yahuwah Lua and my Abba, my Adoni Yahusha Hamashiach. I'm just a vessel that they were in and through. So gotta give credit and honor where it is due. Y'all hit the like button. That, that one was crazy. Y'all gotta let me know if y'all knew that theory or if you guys have any other theories when it comes to the older cartoon movie slash videos. But y'all have a blessed one. I'll see y'all in the next one. Shalom, shalom. You can't bring me down. I know who I belong to. Yeah. Why? I won't sell my soul. I know my worth.